us here, Steel. Great to have you with us, Steel. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Steele just put on a fantastic show here at the Cavendish Beach Music Festival. He had the crowd rocking, clapping, uh, personally had me tearing up a few times. Very, very emotional tunes, heartfelt tunes. Where do you draw on your songwriting? What most, is the is it personal experience? Is it stories of your best friends? It is uh, personal experience, life in general. Um, other, you know, family, Heartbreak, heartache, you know kind of what country music's all about. I have four dogs. You know, <laughs> I got the dogs, I got the country music, I got the hat, I got the truck. You got the truck. You know? <laughs> um, a lot of song ideas just come to me when you're a writer. You need to be driving across the bridge, you could be driving in Oklahoma and just be like, oh my God, that's a great line. You just pull over, don't text and drive, and put it in my phone. And then you come, you know, when you get to where there's a guitar or whatever, I work on the tune. Or I save it, you know, when I'm sitting down to write a tune, I'll just go through my notes and be like, oh yeah, that one, that one. And that's, a lot of songwriters do that. They either have a little book or they just put it right in their phone when they're writing tunes. And uh, when you get that idea that comes to you, something you've heard on the radio, like someone has said, or someone in the grocery store you heard over talk, you know, talking about something and you heard a line, it's just like, that would be a great song that hasn't been done yet, right? <laughs> That's what you try to find is the ones that haven't been, you call this 900 million love songs, right? So it's, you got to pick, pick ones that, um, haven't, that are genuine. Yeah. Don't try. Don't uh, don't die a copy. Be an original. Yeah. <laughs> well, certainly when you were performing today, I was listening to all the diversity of your tunes, and uh, really excited to hear that you've just uh, released a new album, yes. or it's going to be coming out. Record it in Nashville with Dolly Parton's producer. Yes. What's his name again? Kent Wells. Kent Wells. How was that experience recording in Nashville? Awesome! No, it was really great because Dolly would just like fly into the studio and uh, his assistant Christine would come and she's like, Dolly's here! He's like, okay! And then, you know, Dolly just comes barging and, hey Ken, how you doing? And like, you know, she's just a wonderful person. Dolly is what you see all the time. Like, she's never not happy and positive. So, when I'm in my 60s, I hope, I'm actually, when I go back, I'm going to ask her, you know, give me some tips on, yeah. on life advice and how. She just stays positive all the time. Nothing gets her down, so. Well, I think in your songwriting, you certainly show that uh, you're real, and perhaps that's what it is, is just be real, stay real, stay, stay steel. Stay real, <laughs> steel, real steel. Deal. I'd like to ask you, who are your musical influences, Steel? You know what? I grew up, um, my dad was a fisherman, so my, he was always out three or four days fishing, and my mom would be listening to Patsy Cline, Loretta Lynn, Kitty Wells, the Judds. That's what I started to sing when I was eight, because I could hit the notes. Like, I could do Crazy by Patsy Cline, like crazy. It was awesome. And then, you know, um, Johnny Cash, Garth Brooks, and big influence in my writing is Keith Urban. His, he's got that uh, real approach on songwriting. You know, his tunes are, they're not kitschy, and you, they're, they're catchy, but it's about life. It's about things he's gone through, you can tell in his, in his music. And that's what I like to write about, is like life experience. That when you write the song, you write it in a way that, you know, when you're done, you're like, this is about me, but there's so many other people out there who have gone through this experience. And that's what effective songwriting is, is touching other people with your lyrics in life situations that they may have been in themselves. Oh, very well said. Thank you very I much know, for I that. where that just came from. Can you send me a copy of that so I can use it in future interviews? <laughs> All right, so you mentioned who your musical influences are, and I do know that you have a new album coming out, as we yes. just said. So I know that it has to be on your top playlist because you're listening to your new album over and over again. Yes. Besides your new album, who would be the top two on your playlist on your smartphone or in your vehicle? Keith Urban and Keith Urban. <laughs> and no, actually, I work out every single day, sometimes twice a day, and when I'm working out, I'm listening to, honestly, it's like, it's raining on Sunday, or, um, you know, what's another sad song? I Told You So, or Stupid Boy by Keith Urban. And, you know, I'm like lifting all these weights and I'm thinking to myself, if people could hear what I'm listening to right now, they would completely be scratching their head. Like, what is he listening to? Um, female artists, Winona. Yeah. yeah. Winona and Keith are my two, two top playlists. 
And uh, we saw that your parents were in the audience and you gave a shout out to them and, and that was an emotional time. What does it mean for you to be playing here today, basically hometown, PEI I still feel is hometown, and to have your parents there to watch you and be so proud of you? Oh, it's great. My parents have been at almost like every show I've ever played. They've been a huge support in my career and in my life. And, um, as you know, my dad's a fisherman, as I said earlier. And I just learned at a very young age when I was sat down and said, no one's going to give you anything in life. You're going to work for everything that you get. That's a fisherman's work ethic. And that's exactly how I lived my life. And, you know, it's been, uh, it's worked. It's been good advice from Dad. And Mom's just been there, come on, let's go, you can do it, you can do it. Well, it's great to have the support of family. And here at Meganova Country, that's the idea we have, is to be a family, to stand beside each other, to push each other along, to, to be mega stars. That's, right. that's our plan. Awesome. And you guys are doing a great job, and thanks for nailing me down to get an interview. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're really happy that you were able to meet with us today. Great. So I'm going to say a word, and I'm going to give you two answers. Okay. So you pick one, okay. and that way your chances of being correct is 100%. Okay, perfect. Right? Yeah. No wrong answer <laughs> no here. Wrong answer. Okay. I say Mustang, you think car or horse? I think horse. Pick, ice or guitar? Guitar. Arena, rodeo or concert? Concert. Branding, cattle or marketing? Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> Branding, from, um, definitely market, marketing. Okay. If I say Meganova, do you think star or website? I think star. All right. Thank you so much, Deal. It's been great to Thank have you, you with so us much. today. We enjoyed your show so much, and we look forward you to so you being the star that you deserve to be. Thank you so much for having me.